star call they have noticed let's get out that guy has already asked people to follow you because you have a camera let's get out that guy said that that person has a camera on his back stop him and people are following us right now just across the road there is what america calls one of the most notorious markets in the world so let's go inside let's see what's going on let's see how notorious it is and i'm gonna have to go in undercover because the shopkeepers in there are extremely paranoid filming is not allowed because this market gets raided all the time so they have a lookout in there the shop owners are paranoid Tocello, let's go and do some shopping built in the 80s to house only the most exclusive stores Hira Pana was the go-to destination for imported luxury goods before foreign brands entered India. But times have changed, so let's see what's available, buy a Rolex, get caught, and find out how this black market avoids getting shut down. Inside, there's around 100 stores selling counterfeit watches, shoes, chadis, perfumes, handbags, and then some shops selling electronics. This next shopkeeper even explains that there's not one, but two different qualities of counterfeit available. Namaste, G. Can I see these bags? What's the, uh, it's the price no, you want the regular one or you want the first copy one? This all the first copy one. This all are similar to original ones. That's why it's expensive. We have a 17 model in this, but it's starting in ranges for 14,500 till 22,000. Okay. Okay. Quality, you will get the cheaper one like this one. This one is for 5,500. Oh, okay. See, but original is not coming like this. Original is coming like this with the embroidered. The inside, everything is same like original one. Oh, okay. Yes. It says made in Italy. This is cloth. Yes, okay. So what's the difference on this one? Okay, so there's embroidery See, this made in Italy. Model, so you can make it out the difference. It says Christian Dior Paris made in Italy. Okay. It's even got the tag. Model number 19 MA0186. See, you can make it out the difference in this, both of them. Oh, okay. Just feel this material and this material. Okay, yeah, this is like softer material. This yeah, is this harder one is material. One. This one is a cloth. Both are cloth. So this is more expensive? Yes. This one is expensive, this one is cheaper. Okay. So now nine. Sorry, G. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Balenciaga. Shoes and Gucci shoes. Hi, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Hey, cool. Mano, this is you. What is this? Face shield. You gotta try this. That's a face shield. How much is this? 4,500. No one outside this mall would know that these handbags are fake. The quality is so good. But if you look inside the lower quality counterfeits, you will find some telltale signs of counterfeiting. Here's what to look for. It's nice, no? Yes. How much is it? 5,000 just. Yeah, it even says this coach bag was handcrafted from the Finest materials, and superior craftsmanship, attention to detail, reflect our commitment to enduring quality. Except they're spelled from the f West materials, not finest. <laughs> and and our attention. <laughs> it's a superior craftsmanship and attention. <laughs> they took attention to make it. Okay, it looks good. No one's gonna read that. Wow. He's still a bit plasticky though. It does feel a bit weak. No, no, the feeling is plastic, this thing. But it's... How much is the original? Originally, it's more than I can show $800. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bargain. 
Rolex watches go for thousands of dollars, so let's buy one so we can take a closer look at the quality and then I find out firsthand about the security at this counterfeit mall. Is you Rolex, eh? Yes, sir. GM Master? GM Master, who was it? It's pretty good. Yeah, you could make that. How much? Nine thousand. How much? Nine thousand. Okay. Hmm. I don't have nine thousand though. It's first copy, nah. First copy. So it's high quality, nah. High quality. Not gonna break, nah. It's from India or China? China, China. I can give you six thousand. No sir, what can we do? I mean, that's all the cash I have in my pocket though. Seven point five hundred. What do you have for six? I've got six thousand five hundred. That's it. Six Mission success and just in time because our luck is about to run out. This is Carl. Carl? Yeah. They've noticed. Let's get out. That guy has already asked people to follow you because you have a camera. Let's get out. They were watching and they were following us, no? Yeah, I heard him yell. He has a camera on his back. Follow him. In Hindi? In uh, Hindi, yeah, Hindi. Mumbai, yeah, Hindi. And then there were three, four people that were running behind us, but we were walking fast, so they couldn't catch us. <laughs> oh, man. They're not going to do anything. Yeah, but I mean, I, these people are worried, and I know why, so. <laughs> yep. I was gonna film the rest of this video there, but yeah, I can't go back. They would have pulled my image off the CCTV and sent it around all the shopkeepers now. And before I show you the watch, this market obviously is using spotters at the doorways or shopkeepers are acting as spotters. Now spotters are used across India. If the police are coming, it's a spotter's job to spot it and run throughout the market and tell people to shut their shutters or start calling people and tell them to shut the shutters. Police are coming. And this is how they get around raids, just by having spotters at the doors. And it's even used on like a ground level at markets that I've seen. So a guy will run down the middle of a market lane in India. And he was, this guy was yelling, committee are gay. And I just saw all the shopkeepers who were enroaching on the road. They just started uh, pulling all their stock off the road and putting it in their shops or the street vendors were closing their carts and just running with their carts because there was an anti-enroachment drive coming. So that's what happens and you, you can see this in action in India. When someone runs down the street, I had to ask my wife what's happening and she's like, oh, anti-enroachment anti drivers coming, they're all packing up. And to be honest, these raids at a place like Hirapana, Bazaar are just a waste of time. It's, it's whack-a-mole. You need to stop these counterfeit goods coming in at the border. So why would a brand be angry at this? Well, a brand like Rolex, any luxury brand, they sell exclusivity. If everybody's wearing this watch on the street, it becomes common and it loses its rarity. This becomes a G-Shock. That's the best way I can describe it. There's a difference when you see someone wearing this to someone wearing a G-Shock. That is the value in a luxury brand. It doesn't impress me, but does a market like Hirapana Bazaar actually affect the sales? of luxury goods? No. Nah. Nobody at that market, including me, would ever buy a luxury good. So they're not actually losing sales. But if a counterfeit product like this went viral and everybody wanted it for that price, it would definitely affect the prestige of that brand. And you know, they could drop from being a luxury brand to being a common brand. 
that's the risk and I don't think it's a very big risk. Now, tell me in the comments, what did you think of this market? Would you shop there? What would you buy? And um, is it really that notorious? You tell me.